Jim Kingdom, what is your <laughs> your fitness spirit animal? <laughs> it, it's it's listen. There's a reason for it. It's more than just it's more than just the the novelty and something fun to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's it's why you do what you do. Yeah. Uh, why you choose this program, that program. You know, it's it's whether or not you think you need a personal trainer, why you have these habits, yeah, you know, how you got to this place. Uh, it, it helps describe like a what, lot. Yeah, your motivators, what keeps you going, how, why you look at fitness the way the, that you look at it. Yeah. So we've basically narrowed it down to three spirit animals that we see mm -hmm. over the last however many years, right? Th think, think. I don't want people to get confused by this, but but think, this is like the, uh, based on our experience, this is like the Enneagram test, yeah. Myers Briggs test, your your uh, your uh, numerology or zodiacs, all of that uh -huh. shit rolled into into one. This is like your, it's like zoology and shit for gyms, <laughs> <laughs> trying to for trying to help you associate. <laughs> You know who you are. You know, and, and mind you, it's not an exact you know thing because no. when we went through, right, what what animals represent, you know, collective uh, communities and things. What are mm -hmm. really some good, you know, what animals are the best to help describe folk, uh, 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 you know, uh, community camaraderie and right. teamwork and, and fucking like hippos come up. <laughs> like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. <laughs> that's a good. Uh, yeah hey guess what Your you're a hippo, a hippo. <laughs> yeah i'm not doing that so you know surely there's other ones and now and it's it's so uh i don't know this it's hard to it's hard to quantify because obviously we're not i mean because we're all animals we're yeah. all mammals right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but really it comes down to just helping you understand self-awareness yeah. and 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 know who you are and why you are yes okay okay so we kind of we narrowed it we narrowed it down as best we could that we thought uh -huh. are the the three <laughs> more or less, again you know what i'm just gonna say I three the three so spirit fun. fucking animals whatever <laughs> i that think we they're think. so fun they're so fun okay <laughs> the three spirit animals that we're going to talk about are honey badgers mm -hmm. the wolverine mm -hmm. and dolphins yeah 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 now don't take them at face value because honey badgers sound like they're really nice, sweet animals. But as I learned, nobody thinks they're nice. Sweet animals. <laughs> Maybe it's just everybody sweet. and their mother knows a honey badger gives zero shits <laughs> about you. I never knew that. <laughs> honey badger don't give no fuck, man. It's, okay. Why is it called a honey badger? Oh, probably. Never mind. I don't know. I'm not gonna. <laughs> not important. Uh, yeah, I don't. You know, whatever. So yeah. a honey badger is. The type of fitness person where you just you hate working out you hate eating healthy you're resistant to it and maybe in the back of your mind you know you need it but you want nothing to do with it right what did you say well I, th I think the honey badger does what the honey badger wants to mm -hmm. do when the honey badger wants to do it if the honey yeah. badger decides it hates exercise then it hates exercise is nothing you could tell it otherwise if it yep. decides one day it wants to do exercise then it wants to do exercise and there's nothing you can do to to change it. So so once a honey badger gets focused, like there's nothing you can say or do to change that person's mind. The problem is the honey badger gives zero fucks. And so if the honey badger decides to do some dumb shit, you gotta wait till the honey badger's done deciding to do the dumb shit <laughs> in order <laughs> for it to it'll it, it is its own thing. Like uh -huh. it doesn't care about shit. Yeah. At all. Yeah. It'll just fight you for no fucking reason. But a wolverine you know gauges value of this thing it'll decide if you're a worthy opponent if if you're a threat or you're just a peeping tom are you <laughs> like you just admiring what are you like you're a loner but you also do you know uh work well in in, in packs or in other environments you don't go attacking for no reason Right. But you make it clear like you're not to be fucked with either. You're ready to face your challenges head on. And yeah. whatever you have to do to do it, you will do it. You are committed. Yeah. And you don't think twice about you it. You have it's your not... reasons for why you do it. Exactly. It's not like, oh, I don't like this. 
but I'm going to do it because I know I have to. It's like, this is what I'm facing. Exercise mm -hmm. is the answer. So exercise is what it's going to be. Sometimes maybe, and like I said, you, you, there's a reason for why you do things. It could be driven by guilt. It could be driven by uh, your environment. It could be, there's always a something. There is just no, it's not just random. Like the honey badger yes. can just be random. Choose shit because that's just how you, how and who you are. Right. All right. And then the, the last one was uh, dolphin. Yes. Packs, and community driven, pods. highly intelligent. Yes. We chose dolphin for the last one because that's someone who's really community driven, who's like, they like to accomplish things with a group, right? And something like communication, protecting each other, all of those things are important to the dolphin. And a lot of people look at fitness that way, right? They look at it like their community of people. This is my people. This is my tribe. These are these are people that are that I want to help lift up. These people lift me up as I go. And when I'm having a hard day, I know I can go back to my people, my community, and be recharged. You know what I mean? And each of the three can also be independent. Yes. You know, that's that's the thing. Like don't don't go taking it too much at face value by thinking like, wow, I'm a I'm definitely a honey badger because because I have no filter. Like, bitch, please. All oh, y'all got filters. Get the fuck out of here. None of you are that tough. Get a, <laughs> give me a break, okay? <laughs> me included. I'm not, I'm not, you know, we all, there's, we have a filter. There's always a filter that we have. You know what I mean? Oh. So, so it's, it's each, each of the three have awesome. animal characteristics yes. that are both independent, but also. All um, three are ready to, yeah, they're all ready to get shit done. It's just why and when and how they do it that differs, right? Yeah. They yeah. all have an end goal and they're all ready to do whatever it is they need to do. But for the honey badger, they're just, they're going to decide what that is. And if they want to do it or not, the dolphin is going to be making sure that other people are coming with them while they do it. And the wolverine is going to take on whatever it needs to take on in order to get it done. Mm -hmm. But they're all going to get it done. Yeah. We probably could have chosen a uh, velociraptor. Why? Like a dolphin. These are the same kind of thing. They could, like you don't, you, they're, they can handle their own, but they're highly intelligent, travel in packs, communicate, hunt. Hmm. Not afraid point. to take up, the, you know, the big dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they can, that, you know, that could have been, I probably, that would have sounded better than a dolphin. <laughs> I mean, if, if we're thinking like cool well, that, value. Yeah, and that's what we were thinking too. What'd you get? Too. Honey badger. I don't give a fuck. What'd I'm you get? Just... Wolverine. Look at me. I'm an X-Man. Cool. Ah, get him. What are you? I'm a fucking. What are, how would they make that noise? <laughs> I don't even know if did that's how ever... they. <laughs> did you ever see the movie Luca? Your kids like that movie? What? Luca. The Who the fuck is Luca? that? It's about sea monsters, but they're so cute. The mom in that movie does a really good dolphin. I'm about to go honey badger on this fucking foe over here. <laughs> What 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 animal are you? What would you say oh, you gosh. are? Um, oh, fucking squirrel. <laughs> that's what you that's are. That's me <laughs> for sure. Fuck. Um, I I would I would say that I'm probably a wolverine. I've never, and when it comes to fitness, at least, maybe life in general, not because I am a pretty community driven person, obviously. But when it comes to fitness. I, okay. I'm here to get it done. I don't need other people around See, me to do it. I would say I you're a Wolverine, want... not because you have, there's a reason for it. Yeah. There's something that drives you towards yeah. being around the people or being around it on your own. Yeah. And for me, that's a lot of focus. Like I, I exercise and I, my workouts are like my time. Yeah. To, but to... You're focused for a reason, right. like something something is already working mm -hmm. to make you uh functional and efficient in both you know solo and then within a group right so like i i could i, I could see that like I, I don't yeah i could see that i think you you have you know aspects of i don't know i guess the question would be then if all three with the exception of the honey badger you know, are good with both kind of on their own and then, and then, you know, in groups, why are you not 
a dolphin instead? Because my workouts are about me versus me and getting me to the next level, whether that be mentally or physically, because a lot of times it's way more mental than physical for Mm. me. Um, whereas I think the dolphin likes the camaraderie of a workout. And for me, that's, that's not, that's not where, where I enjoy my own personal fitness. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's a good answer. I, I think that when I'm getting ready to walk into the gym, I want to put my headphones on or blast the music by myself, focus on what needs to be done. And get it done. Mm-hmm. Yep. Whereas, but for me too, a, the entire rest of my life is focused on a lot of things outside of myself, right? Like my kids and my family and all the clients that we work with and our, our groups here. And so my personal fitness time is my time for me to focus on me. Whereas the rest of, that's why I said, I think in fitness, I'm probably very much a Wolverine. When we're talking about life in general, I think I'm more of a community driven person. Well, that's, you can have both as a Wolverine. Right. I, like, yeah, it's a, you know, but you know what I mean? I think that the main difference then would be the, the, like a Wolverine is more of the, you, you know, you're, you don't necessarily choose, like, you're not necessarily somebody who, at least until it's been proven, like, like you're not afraid to do the whole group thing, but mm-hmm. if you had your choice, you're cool with just being on your own because mm-hmm. you're because you're capable, and you're capable because there's already something dictating that that thought process. And there's yes. And when it comes to fitness, that is one of the aspects that you know yourself and your efficiency, and you know you know what you're going to get done by yourself, and you know what you're going to get done within a group. And, and depending on, and because of that thing that already is, is driving you, you know um, which of the two need to happen in order to get the thing done versus, yes. versus you know, a dolphin who, who loved the community and while could do things on their own, regardless of the goal of the task at hand, would prefer to do that task with the group yes. versus on their own. And right. I think that's the main difference between like a Wolverine would would take that same task and if it's all the same would just prefer to do it on their own yes isn't opposed to doing it within the group what but if if given a choice would just prefer to do it on their own unless it is a task that is that needs more hands on deck kind of thing and then the honey badger of course just doesn't fucking care either (laughs) it doesn't care that has like when when the goal comes the goal is there when the drive is there ruthless the drive is there forget about it like mm-hmm. you're not going to get in that person's way once they've made up their mind they've made up their mind but they make up their mind either way they either make up yeah. their mind to like Ugh, yeah or they and make up their mind to i'm going to do it's this hard to, it's hard to negotiate which is like as long as that person is gotten to a point of 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 reason or, or their rationale is is written out in a way where you know the the the, the choices that they make are smart and then they're intelligent and they're for the right reasons and not emotionally driven. Mm -hmm. It's good. Like, like if, if you're a honey badger, usually it'll be a thing where if you decide again, cause it's always going to be your choice. Mm -hmm. Nobody can tell you otherwise. If you choose that fitness is your Avenue, you're dialed in a hundred percent. Forget about it. You are going to get there because that's just who you are. You don't give a shit. Yep. The problem is if you, decide to change your mind, you will stop right the fuck away mm-hmm. and go in the complete other direction and nobody can change your and fucking mind. And nobody can talk to you about it, Whether yeah. you're with the group or not. And, and most of the time, in my experience, the honey badgers I've worked with won't, like they'll, they'll, they'll poke at the, the community thing because they, they understand that there's something there. They just kind of like, ah, I want to do my thing. Like, don't talk to me. I don't want to, I'm not like trying to dislike you, but don't push it. Yes. It, right but, yeah like they want to feel it out a little bit yeah but then they're yeah. like eh, not sure i really need this yeah yeah so I, yeah i think i would guess 
if I had to give myself, I would probably say I was, I'm in the Wolverine category also. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think I've also got some honey badger tendencies, <laughs> like not in a good way either. Like, like I got, and I think a lot of people who say that time is their main thing behind why not, why they're not exercising. Like I'm guilty of that from a honey badger mm -hmm. standpoint, because I'm trying to, you know, you know, do this and do this. And I, I don't have time to get all this done. And if I've made up my mind that I have prioritized work or this or this or this over my exercise, then there's not a goddamn thing you can say to change my mind mm -hmm. because in my head, I've already thought it through. I've, I've got, you know what I'm saying? I'm very like focused on that, yep. on that way. And it very rarely can something pop up to change my mind. Yep. But when it does, it'll be me that changes my mind. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, like, I, I don't, I don't know. That's not something I'm necessarily like happy about, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I'm thankful that I have that in me because as long as I can control my emotional intelligence, I'm at least aware on a conscious level that this is a distracting, this is a, this could be a detractor for me mm -hmm. and you, and you navigate around it. So when I'm asked, like I had, I had a friend of mine, um, my little brother asked me, you know, what, you know, why do you, why do you, how do I know if I need a personal trainer? And, and it instantly I knew my answer yeah. because that, that's the honey badger version of it. Like I get it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But in, in that, the way we answered it during the last cast was knowing yourself and knowing what you can commit to and knowing what the goal is and such. But it's like, from my angle, I, I know that if I were, if I were to, it's always good to have some extra opinions, right? Yeah. If I was to have somebody train me. And I, and I, and I have tried in the past. It just failed miserably because they're just fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to start with four, ten, four sets of 10 and da, da, da. And I was just like, what are you fucking 12? Like, really? Did you come straight from gym class with that, with that program? Tough guy, dude, like I'm trying to work on this. Like you, you shit, you need a refund, bro. Something wrong with you. Yeah. Where's the you things know? hanging from all the things. So it's like, for me, you know, if, if I was going to give advice to somebody like to him for a trainer, it would be, you got to connect with somebody who knows how to be the ebb and tear flow. Yep. Got to be able to, to, to work with you on that. That says you're a guy that is completely consumed with work. All right. And if that's your, if that's your Achilles heel, then you got to have somebody who can give you, um, alternatives to that and work with you on it so right. you could be focused all day look man i really want to get healthy i wanted this i want to you know versus the uh what, what is the, the the one other topic the hmm? ozempo so what is it oh, ozempic so like, like versus solutions like that yeah because it's always easy like just start popping pills and shit yeah. like cool you know what i mean but but other but but the, when you start to ch well uh, other than that because when you start changing shit, I'm going to say artificially, but when you start bringing stuff outside of your own body, mm -hmm. you change things, mm -hmm. which also means you change your own bodily progression, recovery. You change all sorts of shit. Yep. Right? So when you, when you have somebody, a trainer or a fitness pro that knows, all right, you're the kind of person that can get consumed by work, you know, I would ask that trainer, I have a tendency to get real distracted, real easy. I get bored. I get frustrated. Um, I would much rather work 20 straight hours, no sleep than do 10 fucking push-ups. Like if you're, if you're ready to come to that kind of honesty and truthfulness with somebody else, then, then, and, and, and then you find that person who can work with you on it, shit, take it. Mm -hmm. But you got to learn to value the time over the money. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, we should do is put together a, a funnel for this or a survey yeah. and really like get people like around it. Yeah. Because even, I mean, you're, you just talked about like an actual personal trainer that you go see and, and work out with, but you have to think about that even when you're starting a new program yeah. or a routine, like, mm -hmm. because the fact of the matter is no matter what program you pick, no matter what trainer you pick, no matter where you're working out, something is going to come up that is going to make you want to stop every single time and it doesn't matter i mean we've been doing this for how long even we hit things like that that's like oh, i haven't worked out in two weeks because i've been working so much or whatever you know so i think that before even before choosing a, a program that you want to get into you have to understand 
what motivates you, how that works in your brain so that when you do choose a program and you do come up to an obstacle, you can understand, okay, this is the honey badger and me just getting a little, a little annoyed right now. I'm just a little pissy right now. I need to get it together and, and find my way back to knowing why I want this. You know what I mean? I think if you're a honey badger, it, well, well, I think if we, if we can put, you know, we should do that. If we put together questions that can help you understand who you are, mm -hmm. you know, the goal should be you walk away from that survey, um, you know, knowing like, all right, well, I can, this question really piqued my interest and made me reflect on this time where I did exactly that sort of thing. Yeah. And that, oh, that makes total sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like when we took the we took this the, the Enneagram test and the shit was like 100 percent spot oh on. Oh my gosh! And it was really cool to like know, not 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 just like who you are or whatever, because who knows? I mean, for all we know, somebody's just I don't know brainwashing the whole <laughs> internet. Fuck, well, I, don't, I don't know. But it, it, if you took it with a grain of salt, then it's cool to to read because it feels like more than coincidence, and the connection yes. that's made is more like I'm not alone. Right. Somebody gets me. It was very much like I felt vulnerable but validated all yeah. at the same time. It was like, oh, yeah. man, like things that you don't want to recognize about yeah. yourself, but you're like, damn, that makes a whole lot yeah. of sense. <laughs> and how we use it was, you know, like I had my wife take it too, and it's, it's you know, she was a five, I'm an eight. Mm -hmm. And it's like whenever there was a disagreement or what, something came up that needed our attention, I understood why decisions were made. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, uh, you know what? You would make that call. You're a five. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and but so so from a gym standpoint, like it's kind of where the idea came from. It was like, you know, there's you know, exercise ain't new. Mm -mm. With with the 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 collapse of the SVB, like people are going nuts. People generally spook easy nowadays. Exercise remains the same as it always has been. I don't want to go asking questions like, what's your exercise experience? Like, what the fuck? Everyone, if you've had a gym class, goddammit, you, you have had exercise nothing. experience. Yeah. The fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but, but whether or not you've had experience with a program and, and with a trainer really doesn't mean as much as the, as what you thought about that experience. And so, right. like, I, I would want to, I would, you know, be more interested in wondering, like, how would, I would write that question, like, how it was, like, what's the, how do I want to say this? How, what kind of metaphors could I use mm -hmm. to get your brain really thinking around? Why you, you know? Do the yeah, you do. yeah. Because then it's like you can start to you really start to think instead of what questions or what. Because these kinds of tests also like if you're good at taking tests or you're like me and you just you know you're too. I love these kinds of things, mm -hmm. you know. But I would start to answer questions specifically with the sole purpose of getting the result I wanted. Yes, yeah, and I think result. that's that's a reason why we didn't go with like the super dopest damn animals ever. Like, yeah, of course the lion, you know, the alpha fucking <laughs> wolf and the bald eagle and the the, <laughs> the mountain lion. Rawr, yeah, look at me, I'm a you know, no, like. You're going to start answering questions because everybody thinks they're the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I mean? And, and so we didn't want to do that. I think we, we'll put it together where it's like you take the thing and you're like, okay, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, it, and, and, and the important part is there shouldn't be, there's not like there's a right and wrong answer. Right. There's not a right and wrong it's answer. It's subjective. It's subjective and it's based on but it's what's consistent. driving you. Yeah. Yeah. It's based yeah. on what's driving you. And, and that's, we say that all the time too, like fitness is not complicated. Mm -hmm. It's exercise. Like at the end of the day, if you do some push ups and some yeah. squats, you're doing exercise, you're doing fitness, but people complicate it. And if you're, well, yeah. And, and, and if you're unable to do an exercise because there's an injury, mm -hmm. then you're unable. Mm -hmm. If you say you can't, most oftentimes it's, you won't. Yep. In my world, I've always believed if you can't, can't means won't. Mm -hmm. Unless you're unable. And if you're unable, cool. Then there should be proof for that, right? But there's always a, a reason, a back reason of why things are the way they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. If, if there's a, if I, every athlete I've ever trained, if there was, I've always had every season, every team, every sport since I've started forever ago, there's always a player who's a complete dickhead always <laughs> every single time sometimes there's multiples on each team you know what i mean 
Um, but you know, several, I mean, this was probably well, long, a long time ago. There was a, there was a, a guy who I was training and he, you know, he's, he's kind of an ass. Um, doesn't, doesn't play the sport anymore, but you know, at the time it was like, can you talk to him about his attitude with the team? Can you, he's a great athlete, but doesn't really push the way he should. And is real short with the other, his other teammates or whatever clicky. He, he likes like, he's got his best bud from whatever it was in, in class, but doesn't pick on the smaller kid, uh, smaller kids or whatever, but that certainly doesn't develop him yeah. ever. And every coach is going to be like, well, that's no way to be a leader. And it's just like, if he starts to challenge authority, like I can help all day long. And I, but that, that that's a, he's a teenager. What, what do you want me to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can, I can, as long as he's not hurting himself or hurting the people around him, you know, I'm going to poke and prod and kind of see what drives you as an athlete. But most often there's something like if you're an asshole and you're 15, like there's something missing at home mm -hmm. and, and I don't want to step on toes here. No, but there's something that's happened to you. That's driving you to be that way. Yeah. You've had some experience yeah. that has, that has molded you in that type you're of way. You're using these, the, the, the sport, you're using that time to vent, mm -hmm. you know, or, 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 or cope, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And it could be a good or bad thing. I mean, you have a great day at work and you're just not with the shit and you know, you don't want or a great day at school or, Hey, if you're at a workout, let's just say you're an adult now, you're you great day at work, things finally went your way, you know, and, and there's a workout that is just really hard to do. And on most days you're like, oh, I gotta fucking fight through this. But if you had like the most phenomenal day ever, you may very well just be like, that ah, fuck this. I had a great day today. I'm not, I'm not gonna let a bird be kicked my ass. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. and, and you have Wolverine, like you got a reason for that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Versus where like a honey badger would take that great day and probably never touch the gym ever. Yeah, because they'd be like, I'm not going to go ruin my bad day right. like that. Because you've already decided you just don't like the shit. Yeah. So now you're gauging everything against that. Yes. And if you're a dolphin and you've had a great day at work, you're going to go to that workout and share that experience with everybody. You're going to call somebody and be like, hey, come work out with Hell me. Yeah. I had a great day. Hell yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So when you, when you put, the, put it together that way. It's interesting when you talk about it that way because you said that and the the when we just talked about being a Wolverine or whatever, that's where my brain went. Like I come in for a workout because I had a great day. I'm gonna kick some butt in there and I'm gonna feel really good about it. Whereas if I'm having a crappy day, I'm gonna use a workout to get through it also, but I'm not gonna feel <laughs> the same about it while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I will, and I go, I work out, out of I'm not gonna say out of guilt, but I work out out of fear, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't want to die. Yeah. 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 But I'm not afraid to die. If that makes sense. I just, I don't want to die now. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So in my head, every rep I take is another day I live. Yeah. Every day. And, and, and you don't have to think that way. And that's, I don't know what, what animal that is. It's a, it's a lonely one <laughs> or a crazy one. I don't know what, I don't know what it would be, but if I had a great day, you know, at work, and I got a good day of, of nothing but accomplished tasks. I may, I'll feel super awesome and super motivated and inspired to, to take on my workout. But I, I know that the struggles I have in the gym performing certain exercises, just because I had a great day, that's just going to be there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not confused by that. Yeah, yeah. So all it really does is change my temperament around them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'll still go at it and be, and be pissed. Um, but there are days rather where it works opposite. If I had a terrible day, no, I won't set foot in the gym because I'll hurt myself every yeah. single time. I can't control. I will get angry. <clears throat> I'll, I'll rig up the boxing bag and whatever. And I'll just go ham on some shit. Push yourself too far. And I'll come. I mean, I don't know if you've seen, I've come, I've come to, mm -hmm. I've come to the session before my knuckles are bleeding. I've, I've hit the bag bare knuckled just to let off the steam. And so at the end of the day though, those are the experiences that continue to drive me as a Wolverine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like if we can put it together and give people an opportunity to really understand who they are uh, as people in the gym, your yeah. health goes to your entire life, yeah. family, workplace. You might have a shot at, at correlating um, who, who you are Change, to, yeah. to the rest of your life. It changes the way you look at everything yeah. when you can understand it. This is not a fucking hippo.